Hi folks, one more quick video before we call it a day. So, it's almost 4.30, still August 31st, Sunday, 80.4 on that, 78 on that, and what is this, 25.7. Welcome to Sunday. So, the title of this video is, kind of use what you own. supposed to rain this afternoon. I hope it does. It's so humid. It'll hopefully break that humidity. You guys remember the John Deere was sitting there? And you guys remember from the last video I pointed out that the trailer was no longer behind the F-150. Well, I've been trying to figure out how to do the rear end on this John Deere because when I pull the rear end out, I'm not going to be able to move it, right? It's going to be basically stuck wherever it gets dropped. So what I did was I put tires on the trailer. I had bought these tires at a at flea markets one at a one at a time. They were like five bucks each. As a matter of fact, you can still see the five bucks. Um, so I wanted to. Uh, to get this trailer back to life, and I did, so what did I have to do? I had to unload it, and I had to drag it over here, and I had to put tires on it. And then I want to work on the John Deere, so I had to come along it up. There's the come along, um, you know, your great Harbor Freight one. And then to drag it here, you know, the Cushman is back to life, so you might as well, it might as well work for a living. The tires that I took off of this were all drive rotted and all. So, um, the wheels are still good. So I took the wheels off and you can see them there. And I took the tires off and they're going out for recycling. So, anyway, so two less tires around is basically what I'm telling you. Anyhow, what I did is I dragged this up here. You guys could see I put it on this uh, car mat. And there's also, see those things there? Um, I could kind of make a cradle, I think, so that um, I could kind of back it up and use those, those things to kind of hold the back up once the deck and the rear end's out of it. And I'm uh, scratching my head. I'm really what to do with this uh, critter. It's a John Deere, and I really do 160. Once I pull the rear end out, I got to look at it and see if I can't slam a Sears or an MTD rear end into it. I'm really, really hoping I can. Um, we'll see more of the rear end, hopefully tomorrow, when I when I get it out of there. The few searches I've done on eBay, though looking for a rear end on this and uh, they want like 350 bucks plus another 75 to ship it to me so I'm like really wondering what I'm gonna do if I can't get a rear end to fit this you know the shame of it is from a parts point of view the hood's worth more than 50, the front tires are worth 50, the deck's worth a couple hundred, the seat's worth 50, the back tires are worth 50. So, if I take the 350 I was going to put into it, plus all those numbers I just went through with you guys, I mean, five, six hundred bucks, I can actually go out and buy you know, something else that I really don't need because I also have the, uh, I also have the, um, Kubota. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it worth putting like 350 bucks into this thing? Four? Actually four and a quarter if it's 350 for the rear end and another, another whole load of money to get it. So, right now I'm going to pull the rear end, see what the numbers on it are, see if I can swap something else into it. I hope I can, even if I got to kind of 
bastardize it a little bit. Um, the other thing I'm concerned about, if I put a used rear end into it of the John Deere variety, um, is it going to hold up? It seems that the tractor was made out of some nice real heavy metal, but the rear end is the uh, first aluminum ones. I think it's about 10, 12 years old. I don't, I don't think it's all that young. It's, um, it's before the LTs, right? This is this uh, 160, but you see no LT in front of it, no light tractor. So it's actually, you know, you check out the mower deck, and it's made out of metal, like as thick as the mower deck on the, um, on the Kubota, the, um, the sides of it, too. I mean, it's real real metal I can't push my finger through it so I have that kind of in this hand you know if it cost me four and a quarter and that's all I have into it it's a real nice tractor for four and a quarter I guess I got the bagger and everything with it so maybe I should just shut up and say hey stupid it cost you four and a quarter you're gonna that's what it's gonna cost to fix it but back to the if this rear end blew I don't want to spend four and a quarter on another John Deere rear end that's just going to soil the sheets also. Another rear end that's just as old as this one. Um, my boss used to own this tractor. My boss gave it to me. He, you know, his lawn really wasn't that big. Um, the hitch is a little bit battered because he used to tow around the log splitter on it. Right, you can see he's got a little bit of a tilt to it. Um, but these are the original tires. I mean, it's not like, like if you look at the tires on the Kubota, you can actually see some wear. These are, uh, right, I mean, they're really not worn. So, I don't know. Once again, hopefully I can slam your typical Sears rear end into it, and that'll, that'll be it. I'll... We'll all be happy with that. If I can't, then I got to debate how much I want to, how much coin I want to put into this rig. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. We'll catch up with you guys on the next episode of The Horde. Till then, keep your feet down and enjoy your lives. Bye now.